Hello, wonderful people, boys and girls and in-betweens. Thank you for watching. So, after um, all of the things that I've been seeing on social media and in the news, I decided to do not one, but two videos. So, the very first video that I'm doing today is going to be addressing bullying. I was bullied in elementary school and middle school. And the long-term results of bullying is... I still remember everything. It's a part of me. And it's something that most people don't understand because most people tell you to be strong, stand up for yourself, but it's hard to stand up for yourself when, first of all, you're a child, you don't know who you are or who you are becoming, and you haven't yet discovered your power. And especially when you're a quiet person, but no matter who you are or the circumstances, no one deserves to feel humiliated or be driven to the point where they feel that their presence on this earth is no longer needed. We have to start being nicer people. We have to start caring about each other and about what we are saying. Now, I have a mouth on me. I also have a temper. But my intentions are never to hurt anyone i am only trying to defend myself i am only trying to protect myself i am never here to make somebody feel any kind of way about themselves because life is already hard when i was in elementary school and middle school i had issues with girls for, I was very quiet and I just wanted everyone to like me and I wanted lots of friends. I was very insecure and I was going through a lot of issues at home, which we will really delve into in the next video. So if you want to be nosy or if you just want to um, You know, if you just want to get into a little deeper about my story, then feel free. That's why I'm posting it. Now, whenever you decide to talk about your life and talk about your deep, darkest secrets, you are very brave. And it's certain things that I kept quiet that I didn't want to talk about, that I didn't even want to post about. But recently, a young lady made a video. And it struck me to my core because I wish I was that brave to be able to confront the person that has molested you molested you or raped you or to confront the person who has bullied you and just to stand up for yourself and take back some of that freedom I respect and I admire so I know what it feels like to feel like no one in the world understands you. I know what it feels like to feel ugly, disgusting. And because you feel these types of things, you settle for relationships, friendships that you are better than, but your mentality tells you this is what you deserve. That way of thinking is going to do way more harm in your life than good. Negative thinking has a way of being a magnet and bringing more negativity in your life. If you are going through bullying right now, I wish I could give you a hug. So here is a computer hug. I am here for you. This is a safe zone. Please vent below. This is not a zone where any bullying will ever take place. Please feel safe. If you feel like there is no one listening, I am. Um, in, in my comment box, I'm reading everything. Even if it's one comment, 
if you feel the need to vent anything, this is a safe zone. If you if you want to um, DM me, cause it's too personal. Whatever you need to do, vent. Make suggestions to me if you want if you want me to make any more videos. But I want you to know that you are not alone. People are suffering and feeling the same way that you are feeling. I was different. I liked, uh, I love to read books and I didn't really know how to express myself correctly where others would understand me. I've always been mis misunderstood. And I have eczema or eczema. Very bad eczema. And so as a young child I would break out or I would have patches I, my skin would be too dark in certain places and kids sometimes don't know any better or they're not taught better so they went in on my skin and it was absolutely nothing that I could do having eczema is already terrible enough you're already itching you're already breaking out it, it, the effects that it has on your skin is crazy so, I didn't feel very pretty. I went to school with kids who had way more money than me. Um, they had a two-parent home, a father and a mother, who had money and could buy them things. I was still wearing hand-me-downs. To those of you who don't know what hand-me-downs is, hand-me-downs is clothes given to you that was worn by other people. Mostly your cousins or brothers or sisters. And I love to learn. So I really wasn't interested in anything that my classmates were talking about or doing. Because I, I was just at a different place in my life. Plus I was going through other things at home. So there are times in my life where... I think back and I don't know how I survived but the key thing is you will survive those are Jehovah Witnesses at my door I'm not I'm not going to the door my mother used to go to the door and let them in and they would stay they, they would not leave so no we're not gonna do that excuse the interruption so um School would be terrible. And then my mother really didn't understand me. I was told that we are a lot alike, but I think that's just because we share the same blood. And I am a part of her, so I have adapted some of her ways. But I am my own person. What has gotten me this far in life is the fact that I got my own mind and God was always there. I couldn't be saved, but I was strong enough to hold on. Now, don't get me wrong. I've tried. I've tried to, in my life at least, five times then when that didn't work I became a cutter then when that didn't work I and this is what most people who have been abused or who have went through some type of abuse do they start to abuse themselves toxic relationships drugs self-abuse and I didn't even know it just miserable I lived um, a lot of my years miserable searching for love searching for a way about the darkness searching for somebody to save me nobody's gonna come and save me 
and even if someone is willing to deal with your issues they're going to want you to change and grow and heal because it's just it's just things that only you can do so i'm not a professional i just hope that i can inspire somebody who is going through a very awful time in their life to just hang on because it will get better pain is a part of life and the quicker you understand that the quicker you'll be able to learn how to adjust to the pain it's not just going to stop in elementary it's not going to stop in middle school or even in high school I was even bullied in my own home I went through certain things in my own home. Certain people that I trusted betrayed me and used my weaknesses and my vulnerabilities and the stories that I told them in my most deepest, darkest secrets and moments that I trusted them with. They used that against me. And you would think if you love me, why would you use some of my most painful revelations against me and even that didn't break me you have to be strong in your mind and you have to have a determination to succeed I'm just now getting here but I want to help you to hold on because it will get better it will get better and years years from now child these people won't even matter that's why i don't want you precious babies to do any more harm to yourself because you're being being bullied let's take a stand let's start talking and 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 bringing these bullies to the light let's start taking pictures Let's start posting these bullies on the internet so they can get harassed and see what it's like. Let's start exposing the bullies. So right now, I am calling for everyone who watches this video, who hears about that video. Let's, let's take a stand against bullying and start to be nicer because you never know what people are going on at home. While people were bullying me, I was living in an abusive household, getting beat up and just all types of stuff. Why they were so busy making fun of me. And then I had to go home and deal with that. So how I made it, God, music, Tupac, music, singing, and a strong mind. And God. So if you feeling like I don't care what you did in this world. If you feeling like I just can't take it anymore. I want you to breathe. Take a breath. Listen to your favorite song. Go watch your favorite TV show right quick. Take a nap. Anything to pause that negativity. Because that's all you need is a pause. Because right now you're emotional. And the world seems like it's just too much to handle. But if you hold on. And make it through the storm. Three, four years from now, you won't even have to see these people. I am telling you from experience. I survived elementary. And these kids were cruel. I, I, I'll never forget. I, I still remember this till, till, till this day. No one liked me. The boys didn't like me. And I came into class one day. And one of the most popular boys had a big chocolate box. Full of chocolates for me. And a car that said happy Valentine's Day. And I paused because nobody had ever given me anything. And I was just looking at everybody because I was in complete shock. And he said, what you waiting for? Eat the candy. I ate the candy. And everyone started to laugh. The whole class bust out. It was laxatives. 
he gave me laxatives filled the box up with laxatives for no reason i was already insecure i was already being abused at home i was already going through so much in life why hurt me but i learned that hurt people hurt others remember that hurt people hurt others they continue a cycle unless you acknowledge your pain and and start to heal so thank you for watching i'm going to continue this with part two please watch please hold on you are loved you are blessed until we see each other again thank you for watching bye